Okay, so here's another video on drum racks. Got the mic ducking out so you can actually hear what I'm saying this time. Alright, now from using drum the racks, I've noticed that the velocity changes on the MIDI edit, they don't seem to work too well. So what I'll do, look, let me just take a, a track on its own. So I'll stop everything here. Okay. So, what's nice in, uh, especially with the hats, is having variations in the velocity. Now, uh, with the drum rack and the default, once you put your samples in, you can't adjust the the velocities. So here's a whole bunch, let's say, and normally you should reduce the velocity, but everything's staying constant. Pain in the butt. So the way that we're going to change that, which I figured out. Uh, which is, uh, I tried Googling everywhere. No one seems to have this problem but me. At least no one's saying anything about it anyways. So, find my sample. There she be. That's what's playing right now. Now, in Simpler, some people may be more familiar with Simpler than I am. Um, there's this little velocity thing here. So it's got 0%. So obviously there's no change in velocity. Now, I already made my change over there. These things are all out. So let's see what happens once I change the velocity. Percentage. And there we go. Cuts the velocity right out because of my edit. So what I'll do is I'll draw in some velocity. There we go. I've been missing this for a long time. All right. So now you're saying, okay, great. I've got 128 samples. I'm going to go through every one and do it. Well, another thing I found out is that there's this beautiful little contextual window here, you right click, uh, or contacts click, I guess it would be in Mac, um, copy value to siblings, all its brothers and sisters, boom, so now all the different samples have this velocity change, and I'll go over to my kick, I'll bring it up to 100%, Copy to siblings, to my clap, bring up the 100%, copy to siblings, I love it. So now, I can go in and make some velocity changes. Alright, 
Enjoy.